Hello everyone. I'm Shifali Sharma from Vinod Kotharian Company. This video is with respect to the due date of annual general meeting, specifically for the financial year 2019-20. The relevant provision of law that I will be discussing in this video is Section 96 of the Companies Act and the press release of MCA issued on 8th September 2020. Section 96 of the Act deals with the due date within which the AGM of a company is supposed to be held. As per this section, the AGM should be held within six months from the closure of a financial year, that is, where a financial year is April to March, the due date of AGM will be 30th September. Also, the second requirement of law is that there should not be a gap of more than 15 months between two AGMs. Moving forward, as per the third proviso, the ROC has the power to extend the due date of the AGM by a maximum period of three months. Such extension may be granted only for some special reasons where whether the reason for extension is special or not is to be decided by the ROC only. Generally, the ROC allows extension if there is a genuine reason for non-preparation of financial statement due to a reason like fire at the administrative office or loss of documents due to some natural calamity or any such other unprecedented incident. So considering that companies hold their AGM in the month of July onwards, the due date of AGM is generally 30th September. This year, being an unprecedented year of pandemic, significant number of companies were not prepared to hold the AGM within the due date. Accordingly, there were several applications before the MCA around the month of September for extension of AGM for the financial year 2019-20. Considering the extraordinary increase in applications, the ROCs on the directions issued by MCA via the press release granted extension of three months from the due date by which the agents ought to have been held without requiring the companies to file any application for seeking the extension in the e-form GNL1. Accordingly, by virtue of this press release read with the orders of respective ROCs, the companies with financial year April-March were allowed to hold AGM within additional three months' time from the due date. Accordingly, it is important to understand the term due date. The due date may be different for different companies. As stated earlier, to determine the due date of the AGM, we need to consider and comply two provisions simultaneously. First, completion of six months from the end of financial year, which in most of the cases is 30th September. And second, maintaining a time gap of 15 months between the two agents. So it is to be noted that earlier of the above two date is the due date for holding the AGM of the company. So the ROC extension of three months is to be calculated from such due date. Let's take a few examples to understand this better. In the first illustration, last year's AGM was conducted on 20th September 2019. So 15 months from this AGM comes to 20th September of this year that is 20th December 2020. Simultaneously, 
six months from the end of 2019 ends to 30th September 2020. Earlier of the due dates is 30th September. So the due date is 30th September 2020. Now, pursuant to the MCA press release and the ROC office order, three months extension has to be counted from such due date, that is from 30th September, which comes out to be 31st December 2020. However, the situation is different in second illustration. 15 months from the date of last Asian, that is 16th May 2019, would be 16th August 2020. And the six months from the end of financial year is 30th September 2020. So applying the same rule, the earlier of the two date is 16th August 2020. So originally the due date to hold AGM would have been 16th August 2020 and post extension due date should be 16th November 2020. That is three months from the actual due date. Please note that it is not true that the time between the last AGM and the AGM to be conducted within the three months extension granted by the government should not be more than 15 months. The 15 months time is to be checked for the due date of AGM only and not the actual date on which the AGM is to be held after availing the extension period granted by the government. So to conclude, we first need to be clear with the actual due date for holding the AGM without any extension. And then we can calculate the extension of three months from that date. Collaborative write-up on meetings to be held during pandemic can be checked at our websites. Links of few related articles are also mentioned at the end of this PPT. Feel free to let us know any thoughts, if any, on this topic, either by mail or any comment on this video. Thank you. Stay safe.